Greetings, I'm Bobby W6IWN and this is Ricky Radar. Today we present you the Savvy Beam, that's with two V's. What this is, is a two element Yagi made out of four of the 17 foot telescopic whips. This thing will cover six meters through 20 meters depending on how you tune the whips. Right now I have it tuned up to 20 meters for the first time. So I'm very happy to try this out on 20. The only thing is with these whips, they're just a tiny bit short for 20. I'm kind of getting a match around like 450, 20, uh, 14, 450, but I'm still under two where I want to operate, but not the best match on 20. On the other bands, I can get it much lower, but these whips are just a little bit short. So I owe a huge, huge shout out to Jacob. KC7WXD. I kind of came up with the concept, but he's the design guy and the manufacturer. He's with uh, Send Cut Send, so I lucked out. He's in my hand club and he has a manufacturing company that could, could make this happen. So we're trying to make some cheaper models and uh, a how to for everyone to do so you can do this on your own here soon. So stay tuned. I'm still out here testing. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun. So I'll tell you about my setup a little bit. I have it up a spider beam right now. I'm loading it with a chameleon blank on one end. I'll kind of show you everything up closer here in a minute. And then I've got it tuned up for 20. So you can do this two ways since it's a two element Yagi. You can do a reflector element or a director element. And I've kind of been playing around with both. And it seems to perform better and get a better match with a reflector. So what I'm doing is I'm tuning the back and then the ref director element is 4% shorter. So I've taken Sharpie pins of different colors. This took me a long time this morning to get everything done. And I laid out the beams, I measured, I got my base measurement for each one and then minus four on the reflector 4%. And then I marked them with a Sharpie and then I drew which band. So when I go out now, I can just go to the marks and then I've been fine tuning it with my Nano VNA. And then when I get it really sweet, I make another mark where I want. So I don't have to fiddle with it every time. So I highly recommend if you're gonna do this, you mark your bands once you get them good. Anyways, let me bring this back down real quick before I operate so I can show you a closer look. Then I'm gonna give it the full on soda poda test. I am on a soda summit, whiskey seven, November stroke, whiskey Charlie dash zero one one. This is also a poda park US 4391. So let's bring it down, take a closer look, and then I'm gonna get activated. Closer look at the Savvy Beam model RJO in memory of an N7 RJO, John Byerly. So what it is here is there's a four foot boom. I'm loading the driven element with this chameleon blank. Everything is bonded. The whips, these uh, hubs are tapped for three eighths. Uh, we might make a different version for the M10 too, but it wouldn't be the durable uh, Yagi that this is. And uh, the, yeah, this is the chameleon blank here. And then on the other side, there's just another hub. Everything is bonded with the boom here. And then there's our U-clamp for mounting. So what I did is I marked my elements. I don't know if you could see, but I made these a D for the director and I marked it a certain color. And then if you come up here, you can see the bands I marked. This is when my, my measurement for 20. This is where I ended up with the bus SWR. So now I'll know to pull it out next time. And then, so I don't mix these up. I have my driven elements as well as the one I load. I have it marked a certain way because sometimes I'll shorten this because this makes it a little bit longer to get a better match. And then these are all uh, marked up as well so very cool it's uh, been a blast oh and last but not least i have a choke here this is just uh, the chameleon uh, coax choke you could use a one-to-one -one ballon uh, whatever but it'd be nice to have a, a choke on your feed line as close to your antenna as possible so 
The spacing doesn't match up, obviously, for every band. It still works. We've modeled this. I'll try to show you some of the models. I've already tested this thing on 10 and 17 meters, and boy, does this thing just rip on 10 meters. So I'm going to give it a shot on uh, 20 meters for the first time today. So welcome to the Savvy Beam. That's with two Vs, made out of four telescopic whips. This thing is super portable. You can soda with it. You can poda with it. You might want to bring a buddy if you're soda. But HOA, this is a good HOA beam field day. Uh, I'm really excited that this thing has finally came to life. Let's get activated. QRZ. I heard a park to park in there. X-ray Echo 2, Romeo Golf India. Mario, you're 5'9". Five 5'9 nine. Five nine in Sinaloa, Mexico. Hotel India, Aid Delta. Roger, Roger, you're 5x7. Yeah, Seven November one Foxtrot Romeo Echo. Take yourself, QSL. You are five out of five. It's five out of five, QSL. QRZ. Juliet Fox eight Fox Alpha Zulu. Uh, Juliet Fox eight Fox Alpha Zulu. Uh, key great signal into Nevada five nine. QSL, QSL. You are five by nine. Arigato. Charlie X-ray 5, Tango Mike Juliet, Charlie X-ray 5, Tango Mike Juliet. Dino, you're booming in from Uruguay, 5-9 Nevada. Okay, Bobby, uh, yes, this is the same thing here, 5-9 blast, QSA, Atlantis call from Uruguay, QSA. I'm going to turn my antenna towards Japan. I will be right back. Whoa, hold on. Charlie Echo 6 again. Charlie 6 Charlie X-ray 6 Delta Alpha Uniform. Daniel, I've got you 58 Nevada, 58 Nevada. Woohoo! We did it! Oh boy, that was a fun activation. I got 20 meters, 15, and 10, and then I'm running out of light here, and poor little Ricky Radar here is getting cold, and so am I. I did a blast. I think I got like 233 or so. I got a ton of DX. Just pile up after pile up. It's been a lot of fun. I'm having... Oh man, I just I just don't know what to say about this antenna, except it's just amazing. Uh, it's been the funnest antenna I have used portable so far. And I wanted to thank KC7WXD once again for bringing my dream to life, because I really couldn't have done this without them, or at least not without a lot of difficulty. So I do appreciate you. And uh, he's coming up with some other designs for 3D printed and some more affordable versions. So we hope to get some more of you guys on the air. So stay tuned and I'll try to help you out uh, getting you on the air. So this is W6IWN with the Savvy Beam. That's with two Vs. And I wanna dedicate this beam. The model is the RJO or the to uh, N7 R, or ROJ John Byerly. So I wanted to dedicate this uh, video to him. 7-3 everyone and thanks for watching.